What's up? It's Ben Neighbors from Make Money Coaching Sports. Now in today's video, I have a special guest. Her name is Christy Hilly, and Christy is world class at teaching basketball coaches and other coaches in other sports how to start local three on three leagues. In this video, she's going to teach you kind of the basics on how to get started. And the reason why I partnered up with Christy is because she is legit. She's been running three on three basketball leagues since 1997. She's run over 350 leagues since she started. And in 2019, she hit seven figures in sales, right? She knows what she's talking about. She knows this business inside and out. And over the next couple of videos on my channel, she'll be posting different tips, different ideas about how to get started, about how to grow your business. And if you want to take the next steps and learn from her directly, you can click on the link below in the description. That will take you to a webinar. A full disclaimer, if you purchase through the webinar, that helps support our channel here. And I only partner with people that are legit, right? I have a lot of people that reach out to me all of the time that ask to be on our YouTube channel. And when I talked with Christy, I knew from, from the very beginning, she knows her stuff. She is the real deal. She's already helped a lot of other trainers uh, in basketball start and grow their own three on three leagues. So sit back, watch this video. And again, if you want to learn more, go click on the description under the video to uh, take a deeper dive. That's it. And enjoy the video. How do you make money with a three on three league business? That's what I want to talk to you about today. My husband and I run Midwest three on three. It's a three on three basketball league business in Minnesota. And we've been doing this since 1997. And it didn't start out making us tons of money, but it grew over time. And eventually he was able to leave his full-time teaching and coaching job. And I have scaled back to half-time teaching. And what I wanna share with you today is exactly how you can make money with a three on three league business. And if you've heard me talk at all before, you've heard me say this, and I'm just gonna emphasize it again. In order to make money doing this, you have to make sure that you are putting out a good product. Nothing is more powerful and more important than having your league participants go out into the community and talk about how awesome it is to play in your three on three league. And the opposite of that is true. If you're putting out a mediocre product, people are, or a bad product, people are gonna go out in the community and spread the word on that, and then you're not gonna make money. So number one thing, if you wanna make money doing three on three leagues of any kind, whatever sport you're doing, you have to put out a good product. All right, so let's talk about the ways that you can actually make money doing this. So. First of all, and most obvious, is that you're gonna charge teams money to play in your league, and that's how you're gonna make some money, right? Now, I get asked often, how much should I charge for my three-on-three -three league? And I can't give you a specific answer for that, and it's obviously gonna change over time anyway. So I'm gonna give you some advice. You need to be the expert in your community. You need to know what families and parents are willing to pay for their kids to be in something like this. And I want you to think about something here as you're pricing this. Let's just say that you're gonna run a three on three league and you're gonna make a $10,000 profit. Okay, that's, that's where you're gonna end up at a $10,000 profit. Is it better for you to get to that, that $10,000 by charging a high price and having fewer teams in your league or by charging a low price and having more teams play in your league? Okay, and I know this might be counterintuitive to what you're already maybe doing if you're running some sort of coaching or training where you charge a premium price and have fewer clients. With a three on three league, you wanna price it so that you can maximize the number of teams that play in your league because that's going to offer the best competition. And as you're building your schedule, you're gonna have lots of teams to choose from for teams to play. You don't wanna have so few teams that you have to have a fourth grade team play a seventh grade team or something. That's not gonna be a good experience. So we want as many teams as possible in our league. So if that means we have to price the league a little bit lower to do that, then that's what you wanna do. But you're gonna to have to know your market and know what the going rate is for kids to be in sports in your community. Make this something that's 
really easy for families and parents to say yes to because they're already doing so many things with their kids. This just needs to be an easy yes when they see it. Now, as you're kind of like trying to work through the numbers here, um, I created a tool that will be really useful for you and I've linked that below. It's the estimated profit calculator and what that will do, download it, and what that will do for you is you can plug in some different variables, things like how much are you gonna have to pay for your facility or how much are you gonna pay your staff, if you're providing t-shirts, how much is that going to cost per player? How much are you going to charge per team? How many teams do you think you're going to get? And at the very end, you're going to get your estimated profit out of that. So play with that. That will help you a little bit kind of figuring out that price point for your league. Now, aside from the obvious way to make money with registrations for your league, what else can you do to make money with three-on-three -three leagues? So you can add some upsells within your registration. You have to be careful with this, but here's an example of something that we do that generates a lot more money for us, and that is by offering the upsell of a dry fit shirt. So we provide t-shirts to every player in our league, but then they have the option to pay a little bit more to get a dry fit shirt, which a lot of players prefer instead of a t-shirt. So that's just a logical upsell to add in to the registration. Don't be weird with this. Don't, don't be slimy. Don't put weird upsells in your registration. They need to make sense to what your you know, customer's all about. So for example, if you already are offering maybe like individual or small group training sessions, maybe offering some sort of deal with that in your three on three league registration makes sense. It needs to be, you know, it needs to make sense. Don't be gross with this. Another thing that you can do to make money is get sponsorships. And with sponsors, they're going to pay you money and then you can put their logo on the backs of t-shirts or on your website, or you can do social media posts, include them in emails. You can let them come on site and hand out things or whatever it is that might be beneficial to that sponsor. But be careful with this too. The, you're, this isn't easy. This, you just don't go up to someone and they give you money to be a sponsor. You've got to nurture this relationship. A little bit of work goes into getting sponsors. And if you can find sponsors who are adding value somehow to your customers, it just makes a lot more sense. Again, so don't be weird about this and have sponsors that just don't make sense with what you're offering with your league. Another thing that you can do is offer tournaments, like maybe a three-on-three -three tournament or maybe some camps, some camps that use the three-on-three -three model in them. And, and these are things that you can work on. I wouldn't do these right away because I want you to be really, really good at your number one, which is running a three-on-three -three league. Be really, really good at that before you start offering some other things because if you start offering tournaments and camps and things, you're going to be putting a lot of your time and effort into those and now you know the leagues are going to suffer so make sure you get your system in place for your three on three leagues first and do a really good job at that before you start offering some other optional things that people might want to participate in another thing that gets brought up a lot is should i offer concessions at my three on three league and this kind of surprises people because quite honestly it, it tends not to be worth it because the way that we schedule our three on three leagues is we want this to be really friendly for busy families schedules. We don't want people coming to our league and having to be there for four hours to play two games. So when we build our schedules, teams are playing either back to back games and they're done and they're out of there or they play, they sit a game and they play. So in most cases, families aren't going to be at your field or your gym long enough to warrant like a meal or anything. So if you do concessions, you're probably really only gonna need drinks like waters, Gatorades, and maybe some snacks, candy bars or chips or things that can be kept until the next week. They're not gonna go bad and you're gonna throw them away. Um, if you have to pay somebody to sit and sell concessions, you're really not gonna be profitable with this. So the only time that we've done much with concessions at leagues is I've had my nieces come, they're little entrepreneur, little basketball girls, and they'll run to Costco and they'll get like these big packs of Gatorade and water and 
candy and chips and whatever. And it's a little business for them. I don't pay them to be there. Whatever profits they make, that's theirs to keep. And that's what I've done with concessions at our leagues. Now, if you're running tournaments, that's different because people are gonna be there for a long time and you will make money with concessions at a three-on-three -three tournament. I'm wondering, do you guys have any other ideas of ways that you think you could generate some revenue running three-on-three -three leagues? If you've got any other ideas, I'd love for you to drop them down in the comments and share your ideas of things that we can add on to our three-on-three -three leagues um, that would help us generate revenue. Share your ideas. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how we built our six-figure business running three-on-three -three basketball leagues, I would love to invite you to my training. There is a link below so that you can save your seat and sign up for this free training. And I'm gonna teach you the seven steps to follow so that you can launch and run and profit from your own three-on-three -three sports league. All right, so I hope to see you in the training.